Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kimberly with itsonlyhomeschooling.com. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm a licensed professional counselor turned homeschool mama of one amazing little boy. Here at It's Only Homeschooling, you'll find all kinds of resources for homeschooling your only child with special needs. In our case, developmental coordination disorder. With developmental coordination disorder, handwriting is a major, a major, major challenge. Uh, not the same as dysgraphia per se. It's not the same as that diagnosis, which is a, um, a disorder of um, written expression. Um, but it is a struggle with the amount of the motor planning and the thinking energy that it takes to go into handwriting. As our year progressed, we found that the amount of handwriting that was being required from all of the subjects in our third grade curriculum, um, from language arts to spelling to math to history, um, simply by the sheer nature of the program that we chose, um, uh, not just Saxon math but in the well-trained mind, um, was becoming increasingly, increasingly difficult. We applied all sorts of modifications and accommodations, a consultation from our occupational and physical therapy crew to see how we could kind of make this curriculum work that we had had that I discovered I was in love with that would have been great for me, but not for my son. And that's when the light bulb went off. We noticed about six weeks into our school year, which is where we are now, that lessons were often ending in tears his tears and my own by the end of the day and that is not what our homeschooling was meant to be that is not what we were looking for we felt initially called to homeschool um, we felt it was our purpose to do this god's calling for our family we wanted to be able to offer our son um, accommodations and modifications that would not be provided to him in either public or private education but more than that, we wanted to be close as a family. We love learning for the sake of learning itself. And ending the day in tears is not learning for the love of learning. It's just checking the boxes off of what we need to get done that day and gritting our teeth and white knuckling the way through it. That's not what we wanted in our homeschool. So what did we do? We did a reboot. I stopped all lessons. I said, okay, you know what? This isn't working. This isn't going to continue for us. So as we re-evaluated our goals, what were we looking for in this new homeschool math curriculum? Initially, when we first started homeschooling, we, we looked at all of the major ones. We looked at Saxon. We looked at Singapore. We looked at BJU. We looked at all of the top math curriculums, and there are some beautiful, wonderful different options out there. It can be a little confusing between mastery versus spiral versus this versus that. I chose Saxon initially because it was for my comfort level. It provided me with a script. I'm not very confident in math. That math has always been a very difficult subject for me. So having that little bit of hand-holding helped me quite a bit. However, Saxon also can be, <laughs> at least for us, dull. It's very, it's black and white. There's nothing colorful about it. It gets the job done, but the amount of repetition in it can be very, very boring. And that was one of the obstacles that we were running into. So goals for new curriculum. I've written them down as sort of reference. I'm gonna read from my lap because I can't always remember them. Um, rigor, rigor is important to us. We do want a math curriculum to be challenging, to set us up for future math courses so that he can do well but not so challenging that we're completely frustrated and our lessons end in tears. Fun. Saxon gets the job done, but what we wanted was something that was bright and colorful and that was attractive for a student to look at and want you to go, oh, this is neat. What are we doing today? Let's take a look at this. Um, enough repetition for mastery. Math is one of those subjects that you do need to have a good firm foundation um, in, in one area before you progress to the next area. We wanted something that has a video option or some kind of online support and help. While we decided not to use the video option with BJU right now, we did, I, my husband's pretty strong in math, he's an engineer, I wanted something to give me a little bit of extra help. While I'm not math phobic, it is not my strength. And I do have a little bit of math anxiety. 
Thankfully, thankfully, I have not passed that on to my son. He loves math. He adores it. It was the handwriting issue that was causing us a problem with math, not the actual subject itself. I wanted something that would help grow our son's independence in doing his work. Right now at third grade, we are at the elbow stage, if you will, where you're kind of right there with them and you're working with them through everything the whole time um, to kind of check their work and holding their hand. And you do get to pull back a bit more every year as they get older. That's how their independence grows developmentally. But BJU seem to foster the ability to work a bit more independently. Not that Okay, so since BJU, out of all of the different math programs we looked at, sort of fit the bill for what we're looking for in our criteria, we decided to go ahead and order the third grade kit. Now, BJU has two versions of their math. They have the um, third edition and the fourth edition. Da, 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 da. Fourth edition, yes, we decided to go with the fourth edition. Um, one caveat, if you want to use the distance learning option that I mentioned prior in the video, you will need to use the third edition. Um, lots of lots of input I'm not going to say complaints on their website from parents who want to use the fourth edition material but also want the distance learning option it seems to be that the majority of parents who follow BJU and have been with BJU for quite some time prefer the third prefer the third edition videos so as of right now at the filming of this video there are not any plans for them to film new videos to go with the fourth edition we decided to go ahead and with the fourth edition because it's shiny and new. Okay, so BJU. Um, just so you know, I ordered from Christian Book. At the time, we had free shipping, and that's who I chose to go for. Okay, so BJU Math Kit 3, fourth edition curriculum unboxing. Let's see, the first one we seem to have here looks like a math work text. I will do a little bit of a flip through later on and add this into the video. Unless this video gets too long and then I just might put it into another video. So we have the fourth edition work text. We have reviews, math three reviews. I'm not really sure what this is. I'll take, oh, oh, okay. So if you want a little bit of extra practice to make sure that you've mastered a concept, we have the fourth edition third grade math reviews. It's very colorful. I like that. Okay. We have Student Manipulatives Packet. Oh, this looks really fun. Oh, okay, this is nice. Let's see. Hundreds chart, tenths chart. Oh. Okay, so all their different manipulatives. Oh, look how colorful it looks, just like real money as opposed to play money. That is so much more fun. Okay, oh, that talk about real life applications. That certainly will help for later on. It looks like fun. So just a little flip through of our manipulatives packet there. Okay, so let's see, what do we have here? What is this? This year, these are tests. Okay, I can open. If you would like me to do a review and a flip through, um, please give me a comment down below. For use with tests. Oh, okay, more testing information. Ah, oh, teacher's edition. This is most definitely for me. Okay, this is quite a bit that comes with the Math 3 kit, it seems. And then we have reviews and answer key. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed our unboxing of our new BJU Grade 3 4th Edition Math Materials. We are going to start using those as we do our third grade reboot to see how it helps us with our developmental coordination disorder, to see if it helps reduce some stress for our handwriting while also still covering the math concepts that we want to cover for the next year. If you like this video, please don't hit please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and ring the bell so that you know when new videos come out. Thank you for watching. Remember, education is a journey, not a destination. Happy homeschooling.